Max? You sure you saw someone under here? Sure as I'm standing here risking a herniated disc. Now he... <laughs> hey, you in there. You giving us a hand saving your keister? Just put your arms up and lift. It's a lie, Sam. Ooh, now we're talking. On three. One. Two. <laughs> I told you someone was under there. Yeah, yeah, with the under. Can we get back to the giant monster now? Hey, you okay, buddy? Looks like you took a pretty good bash to the bonds. I'm sorry, bash to the bones. Have you been watching British television again? I can't help it. The season's so compressed, it's like a non-stop thrill ride. Uh-oh, we've got incoming. Hey, Lumpy, you might want to take a couple steps to the right end or left. Yo, Lumpy! Get over here before you get yourself killed! That's not a very nice thing to say to someone who's suffering from a dumpster-induced concussion, Max. Sorry, Lumpy. Welcome to the party, kid. Now get down! And thanks for bringing down our unintended casualty count. I'm Sam. He's Max. We're the Freelance Police. You might recognize us from our breakfast cereals and underground comics. That 50-foot bundle of fun popped up a few minutes ago and started trashing our neighborhood. You should see what it did to our portico! You're adorable when you misuse architectural terms. Anyway, we think we've got a plan to stop this terrifying enigma. But we need someone with five fingers to operate this! Uh, where were you keeping that, Max? That's classified, Sam. Also horrifying. That's the spirit. Okay, kid, here's what we need you to do. When I yell go, we're gonna try to distract Mr. Grumpy Heads. All you have to do is load these rockets into this state-of-the-art rocket launcher. Which we totally didn't steal from a military trade show swag bag. Wait until we've distracted it, point this in the general vicinity of one of the heads, and... Boom! Great big gobs of greasy, grimy monster guts! Do we have a copyright on that? Ready? Set? Go! that this menace from beyond is capable of temporarily learning from its mistakes. Let me try to distract it this time. Hey, monster, look over here while I read you your rights. You have the right to get blown up. If you don't want to get blown up now, that's too bad, because you're going to get blown up now. You have a nice shot, kid. Rats. Now the critter won't pay any attention to me. Just like that, help us. Maybe we should try to distract him together with the gift of music. <laughs> the music stopped working. Yes. A pity. Hey, what happened to all those fireworks we didn't get to shoot off last year? Good idea, Sam. All monsters are entranced by the hypnotic power of a tight-living fire. One left! Nothing can stop us now! Stop jinxing us, Max. You're all out of distractions! Just keep shooting! I thought you'd never ask! some cover, Max. That thing's twitching like a grenade in a chair. Hey, look! It shrunk! They don't usually do that. Maybe it just got out of the pool. You okay, kid? Bumpy's fine, Sam. Those dilated pupils and twitching eyebrows are the signs of a true hero. You know, Max, you may be onto something. I am? Kid, you've got moxie, nerve, spunk, and an overall joie de vivre that's downright refreshing in this mechanized age. Why? As it so happens, the freelance police are looking to expand their ranks, and we could use a gutsy go-getter like you. Oh, please, Sam, don't. So what do you say, kid? Do you have what it takes to become one of the few, the odd, 
The marginally compensated? I'm begging you. Do you want to join the freelance police? Ah. Hey, were you raised in a sewer? We're busy! No, we're not. Come on in. Hello! Oh, it's you. Welcome, kid. Did you fill out that form we gave you? It's right here, Sam. Here, Lumpy, hold this for me. We haven't been formally introduced, but I'm Sam, and this is my huggable partner, Max. Please don't hug me. We're the freelance police. Selfless wranglers of scurvy gutter trash, supernatural botherers, and vermin of all stripes. I'm less a vermin and more of a lagamore. Crime never sleeps around here. So we need quality cadets like you with limited career options and leaders of typo blood. Looks like you've already filled out an application form. Great. I'll just enter all your data into old Vicky here. In the meantime, Max will give you a basic aptitude test to make sure you can walk and chew gum at the same time. Rise and shine, Lumpy! You're about to take a one-way ticket to H.E. Double Hockey Sticks with yours truly as a tour guide. I'm gonna turn your flabby, useless body into a lean, mean, freelance police and machine. Do you understand me? Just show him the checklist, Sergeant Rockhead. Over there is a checklist of basic tasks. If you complete them without accidentally bursting your appendix, I may allow you to continue your training. You want a hint? Don't annoy me when I'm playing Mumbly Peg. You better listen to him, champ. He's a bunny on the edge. Hey, good for you. You found my breakfast corn dogs. Just so you know, I like my corn dogs like I like my, uh. Ah. Max isn't good with similes. The potential cadet places the empty mug in the coffee maker and lines up his shot. Don't forget, one shot of cream and two scoops of sugar. That's the stuff. Uh, sorry I was a little rough on you earlier. I'm a complete animal until I get my morning Joe. That's Mr. Jingles, our stress relief clown. Give it a good smack or two. It's very relaxing. Ew, you punch like a tubercular barfly. All right, kid. I think Mr. Jingles has had enough for one day. my favorite top eight sharp toys. We need to know if you can hit the broad side of a barn with your throwing arm. And that's not just a euphemism. Go ahead and... Now do me! Now do me! <laughs> Why don't you throw me like that anymore, Sam? Ham and HR said I had to cut it out. <sighs> There's nothing sacred anymore. While you're poking around the lacy unmentionables in our closet, would you mind taking out some of those cockroaches with my six gun? Don't be shooting up the office, Sam. Just stick to the cockroaches and leave the redecorating to us, Junior. That's Dr. Dills. 
the yellow-green soda that the astronauts refused to drink. It's only sold by unlicensed food trucks and carny folk. An unheated corn dog? Is this some kind of a joke? Uh, seems like kind of a corny joke. Are you sure we want Lumpy using the microwave? Its warranty ran out three popes ago. It'll be fine, Max. Stray bursts of radiation build character. And tumors. Mmm, the sweet, oily smell of irradiated meat-like products. <laughs> Gimme. Mmm, crunchy, chewy, just a hint of pig lips. Not bad, Lumpy. But I still don't like you. Don't you eat my scrumpos. The government just ordered a permanent recall on them on account of all the mutations and diseases and whatnot. I wouldn't do that. Okay, whatever you do, stay calm. The murder hornets can smell fear. Open a window. Good thinking, Sam. Nice view, isn't it? At least it was before all those yuppies moved in. Uh, it's 2021, Max. No one calls them yuppies anymore. Can I still call them greedy jack wagons? Can't think of a reason not to. I think they're indestructible, Max. Let me have this, Sam. Good job, kid. Now put my gun back before you're overwhelmed with cockroach bloodlust. Do cockroaches even have blood, Sam? Hey, Sam. Lumpy's all done with the aptitude tests. How'd the kid do? Somewhere between brain dead and unformed pile of clay. Just how we like them. I got some more typing to do here, but that can wait. Anytime you're ready to head on over to our training grounds, just give me a holler. Are you ready to start your training? Alrighty then. It's time to gird your wits and steal your loins for the challenges of the Freelance Police Training Grounds. Here's helping you like pain. Here we are at the Freelance Police Academy of Remedial Crime Busting and Planetary Protection. Sorry about the bumpy drive but there's two pounds of lead embedded in my right foot. As you can see, the Academy has been built on the remains of Cap Makwa Bear's Funtime Park, a colorful seaside amusement park that closed down in 2005 under mysterious circumstances. By mysterious, he means it went broke. And by colorful, he means psychologically scarring and full of asbestos. In order to complete your training, you'll need to receive a passing grade in 10 sanity-defying challenges. Actually, it's nine, Sam. The Supreme Court just ruled that the tenth one was, quote, cruel, unusual, and lacking pizzazz. Okay, fine. Nine challenges. Once you pass the first three, we'll let you try the next three, and so on. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. We'll be tracking your progress with these special bracelets we confiscated from one of the many mad scientists we've jailed over the years. Just stick out either hand, and Max will slap it on. Okay, kid, you're good to go. Whenever you're ready, just saunter over to the challenge of your choice, and we'll tell you what to do and where to shoot. Don't forget to have your parking validated by Captain Aquamare. What have you got against this kid, anyway? I'm like a silverback, Sam. I naturally lash out at anyone who encroaches on my territory. Also, Lumpy sucks raw eggs. Welcome to Sam and Max's Voyage of Pain! 
AKA the first obstacle course. We've hollowed out the guts of Captain Aqua Bear's spooky voyage attraction and replaced its innards with several tests of physical endurance. Just like Captain Kangaroo. Like most things in life, the course is timed. So you'll have to post a minimally acceptable time to receive a passing grade. Just like Sam's last three dates. Whenever you're ready, just walk through the door and let the sweating commence. That's what she said. Okay, before you begin. Are you ready for deep muscular torment? Jeez, Max, dial it down a notch. As I was saying, each station on this course is designed to test your glutes, abs, pecs, traps, and zeds. We'll tell you what you need to do as you go. Ready? Set, go, run! Tumble, tumble time! Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Don't let any of that get into your orifices! Next up, wall climbing. Watch out! We didn't have time to properly attach all the handholds. How's the kid doing, Max? Ah, it's not good, Sam. Pools of flop sweat bleeding from the ears, and there's a whole swap butt situation starting to develop. Now throw these balls at the targets to impress us with your throwing accuracy. And afterwards, you can impress us with your dinner cooing and laundry skills. Just a little outside. Nice throw! Please throw better. Be the ball! You sure you don't need some therapeutic eyewear? Maybe a bowl of soup? Good one, Luffy! Smooth as silk. Or maybe butter. Nice arm, Vinny Rivera! Ugh. Whatever you do, don't think about the unspeakable horrors lurking behind those holes. Ready for the next one? say we didn't warn the kid. Ah, oh, what a senseless waste of ammo. Uh, 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 life. Climb this ladder. Ignore the blood stains. Grab it and don't let go. Just hang there like a the Mona Lisa. Let go. Let it go, Elsa. Now pop some balloons. And your preconceptions about law enforcement. Those balloons look a little funky. Yeah, it's possible that some of them are on these haggis platters. Goes to the fair. You fool! You popped the one with the deadly virus! <laughs> what? Do you say? Not looking good there, Lumpy. This would be so much cooler with ninja throwing stars, right? Not bad, kid. It's the bloody hook of Captain Steve! Grab it! I saw something special in this kid, Max. Turns out it was a fatal lack of self-preservation. Hoop it up, kid. Boom, Did 
you know the basketball was invented by a Canadian? Yeah, yeah, but they still owe us for Java, Apple, and Tetris. Barrick! Whenever I play basketball, my feet hurt for a week. Maybe you should wear shoes. Air bomb. Nice free throw, Shaq. Why don't we play basketball anymore? Because you're three feet tall. I got mad hops! I haven't seen hands that cold since Nanooka the North. Nice shooting, kid. us outside while I wipe down the equipment with Max's fur. Well, pull my ears and call me Missy. You passed. Missy is easily impressed. Ah, there you are. Holy hopscotch and Hayek, Max! The brains of three of our nation's greatest entrepreneurs have been replaced by fiendishly clever time bombs. I hate when that happens! We'll help you defuse them with some online manuals we've dug up on the dark web. Your examination begins now! The first thing you need to do is open up the head of Thomas Edison here like a ripe mango. The manual says there should be a screw, bolt, or wire somewhere on the side of the head. Move it around to find the right one. Then open her up. Gently. Salutations, entrepreneurs. My name is Thomas Alva Edison. Alternating current, alternating hokum, I say. Looks like wires. Grab the wire cutters. Good. Now listen to the order of the colors. Don't mess up. White. Black. Green. Good job. Now don't touch anything yet. It's a fail-safe system, Max. The heads have tells to choose the correct action, but the rest are lies that'll make it go kaboomskis. But which one is the right one? Well, according to the manual... He can't tell a lie when he's looking up. When he says poke me, poke him in the eyes! No, 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 no. <laughs> when he says boop me, tap him on the nose. Poke me. Poke me. Plunge me. Poke me. Boop me. Poke me. Poke me. Plunge me. Poke me. Boop me. Poke me. He can't tell a lie when he's looking up. Looks like a Phillips head. Get the Phillips screwdriver to take it off and open the head. Black, yellow, white, blue. Black, yellow, white, blue. Some people call me the Wizard of Menlo Park, but that's only because I put curses on some of my competitors. When his eyes are yellow, he's an honest fellow. Looks like a flathead. Pick up the flathead screwdriver to take it off and open it up. Red, yellow, black, blue. I see a future. 
furniture of concrete houses and wooden dishwashers. His eyes will be green when he's telling the truth. Plunge me. Twist me. Boot me. Plunge me. Poke me. Twist me. Poke me. Boot me. like wires. Grab the wire cutters. Green. Yellow. Red. Nothing emboldens the spirit of innovation more than a robust system of capitalism and patent attorneys. His eyes turn blue when he's telling the truth. Huh. Mood eyes. Squeeze me. Smack me. Plunge me. Squeeze me. of time, kid. Yeah, but can you do it while hanging upside down in a piranha tank? Eh? Nicely done, cadet. You've officially passed the Bombs Away Challenge. Big deal! You can train a chimp to disarm a bomb, 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 bomb. Hey, Sam, we should train a chimp to disarm a bomb! Is that moon rock we donated to the park back in 92 still here? Fun fact, it's still glowing. I see you're admiring the statue of Dr. Duncan Dills, creator of the Aqua Bears and Dr. Dills Soda. <laughs> and if you're not, you should be. We never met Dr. Dills in person, but we admired his can-do spirit from afar. Mostly because of the restraining order. I see your eye has wandered over to our circle of carnage. Along with the rest of your misshapen body. Hey, you really should exercise more. Ignore him. Now, the life of a freelance police officer isn't just about shooting things. But it's not not about shooting things, if you catch our drift. The sad but exceptionally fun truth is that you will occasionally be called upon to responsibly discharge your firearm while protecting the innocent and or saving the world. Responsibly discharge your firearm? <laughs> Are we shooting bad guys or getting ready for a spring cotillion, Sam? When you're ready for some target practice, just step into the circle and we'll set you up. Welcome to the Circle of Carnage. Carnage! 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 We fudged together the park's shooting galleries to test your firearm skills while being overstimulated by a hideous panopticon of garishness. I saw panopticon of garishness at the Crown Plaza back in 98! Your weapons are on the table in front of you. Try not to shoot any civilians. Or us. We're gonna go someplace safe. 
First up, it's the Old West shoot 'em up. Uh, why are the bank robbers kangaroos, Sam? Because this was built in Australia, where 95% of the fauna would just as soon kill you as look at you. Good Vegemite eating garment. and other monstrous and therefore socially acceptable targets. I hate it when the dead don't stay on their side of the veil. Maybe we should use the classic slow zombies for this bit. Take that, you played out cultural phenomenon! Come on, kid. It's not that scary. Remind me to leave you behind during the next zombie hey, attack. guys are already mostly dead. Just give them a little push. Trembling with fear is no way to shoot a handgun, kid. Maybe we should have used the class of slow zombies for this bit. Come on, kid. It's not that scary. Remind me to leave you behind during the next zombie apocalypse. Maybe you can clear out those dead eyes with your boomstick, kid. These guys are already mostly dead. Just give them a little push.
that cheesy arcade target. You've officially earned your Circle of Carnage badge. But we're still not giving you a gun until you've passed the rest of our tests. Because that would be irresponsible. Yeah, irresponsible. You hear that? That bell means that you've passed the first three Freelance Police Academy challenges and are ready to move on to the next round. Join us over by ye old strengthometer, and we'll get... That must be the hotline. Commissioner, how's the family? Still in hiding? Swell. Really? Upside down, you say? <laughs> no. Well, gotta go. I love you too, sir. That was the Commissioner, or his alternate universe doppelganger, with a dire warning. Never eat expired pork? No. One of our enemies has escaped from prison, and is threatening to unleash mayhem in our neighborhood. Why can't people keep their mayhem properly leashed? That's not really the point. We've got to get over there pronto. Come on, cadet. It's time for a field trip. Of danger! <laughs> the city's underpaid sanitation workers are great. You'd hardly know there was a 50-foot-tall planarian worm wreaking havoc here just a few hours ago. Okay, kid. According to the commissioner's insistent blubbering, Theodore Tox, one of the city's notorious criminals, has escaped from prison and has sworn to exact vengeance upon us. That seems to happen a lot, Sam. Here's some wanted posters with all of Tox's inappropriately intimate details. You can tack it around your waist. Let's go talk to some of the locals and see if they've seen him flying around. Junior, this is Helios Papadopoulos, owner of the best Greek-Canadian fusion food truck this side of the Mississippi. And he's totally not a fugitive Greek god or anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even know why I brought that up. Salmon Max! I'm all at the doctor deal soda, but I'm getting a shipment later today. Can I interest you in a hero? We don't need another hero, Mr. P. I'm just looking for a guy. Hey, who is it? Show him the poster, Lumpy. Oh, that guy. He ordered a jumbo poutine platter, then tried to pay for it with some sort of cryptocurrency nonsense. And then? I told him to take a long walk into Hades. He had a hissy fit, threw down his stupid goggles, and stormed off on his silly scooter. Well, thanks, Mr. P. Tox's fancy pants AR goggles are ugly as sin, but they may be the key to tracking him down. Looking good, champ, this but I think Tox's visor needs to be powered up. Robot alert system. There are no killer robots in your vicinity. This is only a test. We tried to join the news once, but they threw us out on our ears. Only after someone, Winky Winky, started making Huey Lewis jokes. Sam! Max! Sasha, how's the art scene? Starving, same as always. I'm doing a big installation piece later today, so that'll be cool. As the actress said to the bishop. Junior, this is Sasha, our local street artist slash vandal. Wow, you got a whole Salvador Dali thing going on with your face, don't you? We try not to stare. 
Show Sasha the Wanted poster, kid. You happen to see this techno-punk loitering, lurking, or uh, maybe looming? Yeah, I saw him a couple hours ago. He was riding one of those lame hoverboards and cackling like a maniac. He dropped this, though. Thought about incorporating it into a found art sculpture, but it was too ugly. Thanks. No problemo. Hey, when are you gonna come in and pose, big guy? Just as soon as I lose 30 pounds, and my debilitating fear of being seen naked. I think those are two sides of the same flabby coin, Sam. Nice look, Jacko, but I think it needs to be connected to something. Disturb Queen Carpathia, Southern of the Seven Burrows, and the Outer Kingdoms. Many apologies, Your Majesty. This is our new recruit. Bow, Junior. Forgive our new cadet, Your Majesty, as they are clearly unused to courtly etiquette. Samuel, favored friend of the Rat Kingdom. What news do you bring of the human world? All the usual crime and dimwittery. Junior, show Queen Carpathia the knave. Have you perchance espied this rogue on your morning tour of the realm? We have indeed. The scoundrel nearly ran us over on his accursed conveyance. Mayhaps didst thou ascertainest his... thou... whence... Did you see where he went? We are afraid not. By the time we came to our senses, the jackanape had fled the scene. He did leave this curious artifact, however. That looks like some sort of Wi-Fi thingy that connects two pieces of high-tech equipment. I like where you're going with this, Cadet. Not mistake my pleasant demeanor for a desire to mingle with commoner stripling. I was unhappy that. Bo so, in conclusion, we need to. Hey, stop it! Please don't touch the equipment. It's very delicate. Huh? Who's there? Where might a subject go? Hey, Sam, check it out. He's just hovering there in the alley like a chump. Sam and Max. What are you doing at my presentation? We live here, dummy. Well, I'm afraid you aren't credentialed for today's seminar. A namaste. You and the new kid follow him up the side of the building. I'll take the stairs. Come on, Luppy! The newbie and the pet weasel clearly accustomed to the commonplace challenges of the past. Let's shake up their ascent with a disruptive paradigm. Hey, I'm not a weasel. I'm a lucky. Get him, Luffy! I believe in you! Yeah, kinda. Today, I'd like you to imagine a world in which the antiquated freelance police have been replaced by swarms of efficient, militarized robots.
miss their zany quips and violent tomfoolery, but sometimes you have to crack a few paradigms to elevate to a higher consciousness. I'll circle around to the other side. You climb that ancient and terribly convenient antenna. Are. I was worried you had tragically fallen to your death. Come here. Did I miss anything? Not so fast, agents of the status quo. Oh, I like that one. One more step, and I'll detonate my neutron disruptor wave, which will disrupt everyone's neutrons within a five-mile radius. Uh, is that bad? I don't know. I really should have paid more attention at home at class. Silence! Cool down, buddy. No need for anyone to get their neutrons rustled today. Just tell me what you want. What do I want? What do I want? Uh, that's kind of what I ask, yeah. I want you to listen to the rest of my presentation. I'm not sure we got time to... Neutrons! All right, fine. Let me just pull up my deck here. Ah, no bars. What do you mean, no bars? Could you just wing it? No, I can't just wing it. There are slides, charts, sound effects. Ugh. Take it easy, buddy. I'm not your buddy. I'm your future, and the future is now. Ah, oh, dang. Hey, Lumpy, your glove is glowing. Maybe you can wave it around and do something useful. What the? Get his arm, Max. Got it. Careful. He's squirming like a greased-up pig on barbecue night. <sighs> now you're making me hungry. You fool. You've only delayed the inevitable. Once my timer goes down, your neutrons will be disrupted, but good. It looks like one of those bombs from your training class. Max, you help him defuse it. I'll sit on talks. Ah, you always get the fun parts. His eyes will be green when he's telling the truth. are the sign of the tree. Funny, with me they're a sign of bloodlust. Poke me. Poke me. Poke me. Poke me. Squeeze me. Poke me. Plunge me. 
looks to his left when he's telling the truth. Fuck me. Squeeze me. Twist me. Fuck me. Twist me. Squeeze me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Squeeze me. His eyes go to the right. He's telling the truth. Fuck me. Twist me. Ha <laughs> Your neutrons are toast. Well, that's disappointing. Fuck me. Twist me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Twist me. Fuck me. Smack me. Squeeze me. Boat me. Poke me. Twist me. Bomb defused. Neutrons neutralized. No! My precious neutrons! Okay, mister. Let's get you back to your prison cell before you threaten any more fundamental particles. <laughs> Let me take that off your hands, Lumpy. Uh, Sam? What should I do with this? Uh, take it over to the boffins in the lab. Boffins? Again with the Britishisms. Holy Hannah Montana, Max! Look out! Ah! Well, that was unexpected. As I was saying before we were interrupted by our jobs, congratulations on passing the first three Freelance Police Academy courses. Personally, I was betting that you'd wash out faster than a chocolate milk stain. The next three courses can be found across this treacherous gap in the pier. There used to be a bridge, but, you know, rising seas, shoddy construction, time... Just give a whack to ye old strengthometer, and we can get you started on the next wave of inexplicable challenges. Wow, this part of the park is more run down than I remembered. Are we sure the next few training exercises are actually, you know, safe? I'd say that ship is already sailed, sunk, and salvaged, Sam. Well, feel free to spend a few minutes getting your bearings. Or should I say, aqua bearings. You really shouldn't. And once you're ready, pick out one of the three new challenges. Hey, Max, how many times have we had to bust out of some criminal cheeseball's lair? This week or in toto? In any event, members of the Freelance Police are expected to possess keen powers of observation to get them out of tight jams. They must be jams, because jelly don't shake like that! <clears throat> when you walk through that door, you'll be locked into a room and must use your wits to obtain egress. You know, you could just say it's an escape room. Just go on in. You know, Max... Only about 20% of our job involves slapping the foes of virtue with the spiky leather gloves of justice. The other 90% is just good old-fashioned clue-gathering and problem-solving. And Matt, obviously. We've locked you here in the park's old security center and hidden clues all over the place. The goal is to find the three hidden keys. You'll be judged on how fast you escape. And also on your evening gown. The three keys will be hidden within three deceptively innocent receptacles. Like a puppy, or Greta Thunberg. The challenge begins now. Why is there a jail cell in here anyway? Most theme parks have holding cells for recalcitrant troublemakers, Max. I myself once spent 12 hours behind bars in a Wisconsin Dells water park. You tried to steal one of the ducks, didn't you? No comment. Uh, anyway, Cadet, see if you can find some way to open that lock. Oh, man, sure, you can open a lot of bobby pin, <laughs> but have you ever tried it with a plate of spaghetti?
say, what time is it anyway? Time for a clue, probably. Magnet poetry. Four words that combine three cool things with one real thing. Like you, me, Mudlung, and Lux. I wouldn't be surprised if that combination of words had a specific meaning. <laughs> Whose bright idea was it to put an aqua bear costume in the closet? Now look at me! Are we sure that's a costume, Max? It looks a little organic. What are you saying, Sam? That six-foot-tall aqua bears are secretly walking the earth, shedding their skins, and plotting against humanity? Well, I wasn't. Until now. Oh, a clue about the bigger story inside the smaller story! It's like Inception! Only dumber! I always wanted a cuckoo clock, Sam. I don't know, Max. Those charming Bavarian timepieces give me the willies. That's why I want one! Three willies every fifteen minutes! Where do we go when we die, Sam? Yep, that's the safe. I don't know. 
I'm surprised so much of the park's security equipment still works. Not too jaded to be surprised anymore, Sam. That looks a lot like our microwave, Sam. It's not, but it is the same model. Ooh, that's good. I was starting to think the modelers were getting late. Where'd you find a realistic Max Corpse anyway? Remember that thing with the clones and the time machine? Yeah, I kept a few extras for, uh, <laughs> research purposes. Maybe you can find something on Max's not corpse to help you bust out of your cell. Any more on that weirdo who stole Tonk's neutron disruptor? No, but I'm sure he'll pop up eventually. What happened to my frozen bacon weenie? That's some top-notch deductifying there, cadet. You've passed the Get a Clue Challenge. Of course, had this been a real death trap, there would have been poison gases and live tigers, so it really doesn't count. But here is your grade report anyway. A dedicated freelance police officer has to have exceptional hand-eye coordination. Not to mention a patient psychotherapist. We've rejiggered this old ballpark attraction to test your Pareto Occipital Junction with a round of our favorite off-duty pastime. Baseball! When you're ready, just head on in and Max will get you fitted for a batting helmet. Welcome to the game that's filling hospital concussion and laceration wards across the nation. Baseball! I'll be pitching and Max will be behind the plate, undoubtedly mocking you. Just pick up a Fizzball League-approved bat behind you and try to hit the cans. Now, normally, Fizzball is a non-competitive activity designed to bring everyone together in the warm glow of ruptured beer cans. But since this is part of your training, we've added some targets to the field. Hitting anything but the targets counts as an out, because that's fair. Let's see how many runs you can get in three innings. Label! Despite his crippling fear of success, the third baseman flings the can to first in plenty of time to catch the new kid for the out. Three outs. We were thinking of letting you pitch to us, but we decided that it would be too dangerous. I hope you hit better than everything else you do. 
and the first baseman scoops up the can, slams the remains, and tags the runner out at first with time to spare. I call this one the awkward pause. Oi, just throw already. That's a pinwheel. Before anyone can complain, the mystery baseman grabs the beer and throws to first for the out. Final inning. Whoa! I haven't seen swinging this bad since the ice storm. But I'm pa. And the left fielder makes a routine catch for the out. Hey, look! It's me, but big and full of explosive gas! You're always full of explosive gas. Yeah, but this is hydrogen. The beauty of a foam spreading pinwheel. This is what the game's all about, Sam. Nobody, 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 nobody here! Two three outs. Game over. And that's Fizzball. Some of it, anyway. We didn't even get into the designated driver rule, or what to do when a pitcher beer box, or a... Uh... All in good time, Max. Nice game, Slugger. You passed the Fizzball challenge. Here's your grade report. Whatever. The game has blown chunks since they added the designated hitter and stopped letting bat boys chew tobacco. Welcome to the Tunnel of Tough Love. You know, this looks awfully familiar. Hush, you. Inside this former breeding ground for hickeys and mononucleosis, We've erected several new challenges to test your stamina and sanity. Ooh, icky. Whenever you're ready to have your personhood tested, go on in. What makes this obstacle course different from all other obstacle courses, Sam? Love, Max. <sighs> icky. Go! Just grab on! Let go! Another climbing wall? This one is 50% more difficult, representing the slippery and often treacherous nature of romantic relationships. How are things with Susan, anyway? I don't want to talk about it. Climb, you magnificent bastard! Climb! Hurry through the tunnel. Sometimes the most effective weapon in a freelance police officer's arsenal is their partner. Run me your hands, puppy! some good old-fashioned monkey bars. You already look like a monkey, so this should be super easy. Good job. Now, on to the grenades. I can't even remember the last time we used a grenade on a case, Sam. 1944? In the south of France? I think you've been watching the History Channel again. Grab 
it, don't lick it. down suppressing fire takes a steady hand. Which is somehow tested by squirting these... things to fill the balloons. Ready? Aim. Squirt! Slow and steady, kid. Ugh, all this squirting is making me regret all those sodas I drank for breakfast. Cross your legs and deal with it, Max. If your biceps aren't sore, you aren't doing it right. the dunking. This is your last chance, Lumpy. Take out a lifetime speed. I feel like there should be ice. Nice run, slugger. Let's meet outside for a debrief. Good hustle, cadet. You passed the Tunnel of Tough Love Challenge. And with only light emotional bruising. Grade report time! There's always room for improvement. <laughs> and chocolate, am I right? <laughs> Just over this, um, thingy are the last of your Freelance Police Academy challenges, where... Ah, oh, Sam, I'm getting too old for violence. You take this one. Well, that was underwhelming. Commissioner, what a dramatically convenient surprise. Right in the armpit? But how? I see. And the leeches? Stupendous. Oops. Oh, you're breaking up. Bye. And mail from some flounder? That was the commissioner, or possibly someone wearing a commissioner skin suit, telling us that strange unspeakable things are afoot at the neighborhood neutral hole. <gasps> but that's where I get all my homeopathic needs met! Come on, cadet. It's time to take out the organic trash. With impunity. Never fear, citizens. The freelance police are here to resolve your paranormal crisis. And we brought a plus one! Max, head back to the manager's office to interview that panicked grocery worker. On it! The cadet and I will have a look around and see what we can do to send this Stygian refugee back to their appropriate infernal hellscape. Well, what do you know? Hey, don't grab that! Alright, this is DJ Max coming at you with 1.21 gigawatts of power on WMAX. Ugh. That demon eats like Max. I can hear you, Sam. Maybe we can feed it something that disagrees with it, with extreme prejudice. Check it out, Sam! These demons were summoned by the cashier! I was just playing around with some basic spells for my LARPing group. Little did he know that this neighborhood's on a hell mouth! They should really put up warning signs, you know? 
According to Sheila here, this little bugger is called Odin the Devourer. On account of, you know, of a devouring and stuff. In the monster manual, it says you can pop it if it gets too full too fast. Um, guys, I'm really sorry about who got. Please don't tell my parents, okay? My fine-tuned detective skills tell me that these burritos may prove useful. Or maybe it's just a high-pitched whine across town. What's the deal with this one, Sheila? I think that's Modad, the chill demon. So he's super mellow? No, he just likes the cold. Whoa! That thing's given off more heat than a 1981-era Kathleen. Unless you want to spend the next three hours staring at your own puke. Don't let that thing get in your mouth. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, one too many fizzy sodas. No, you fool! What aisle has the Epic Hack? And we're back! Let's not do that again, okay? Don't get too close to that gaping maw. If we want to feed it, we'll probably have to throw something. Actually, I think that's a tongue depressor, Max. What do tongues have to be depressed about, Sam? It looks like your body is successfully rebelling against your brain's stupidity. The easy availability of weapons of splash destruction in our supermarkets is a national disgrace, Max. If the Founding Fathers didn't want us to squirt each other with dangerously pressurized fluids, they would have said something, Sam. If we don't drink it, or you'll get a brain freeze.
shake than throw, like fizzball. Shake then throw, like fizzball. Shake then throw, like fizzball. I like what you're thinking. Did you see that? The demon's infernal carapace inflated slightly when it ate the soda. Maybe if we fizz it up, something wonderful and explodey will happen. Good throw, kid. Let me just utter a few binding words to seal the deal. Oatamu Siam! Oatamu Siam! Yahtzee! And that's what you get for disturbing our neighborhood food oasis! Oh, Mama! This icy imp is gobbling up all the frozen treats it can get its claws on! Tell me the it's it's are okay, Sam! No promises, Max. Maybe we can make things too hot for it. Hey, Sam! Can you pick up some burritos while you're here? Yeah, I'm feeling like Mexican tonight. That wasn't a bad idea, kid. But it doesn't look like this demon has any problem wolfing down spicy foods. I don't think we're gonna be able to catch this thing by hand, cadet. It doesn't look like this demon is interested in anything that doesn't come from a frozen foods freezer. Yeah, I don't think this demon responds to projectiles, champ. Plant, champ, but I think you'll have to cook it first. <laughs> I 
I think you're under- Hey, look! Satan's little helper here is catching the bait! Hot dang! So he is! Cinerum in cinerum, baby! And people say Latin is a dead language. Well, that just about wraps up this caper! Not so fast. These things usually come in threes. He's really going to town on that cereal. Ah, he's probably just looking for the novelty bike reflectors or lenticular baseball cards. I wonder if we could find some way to, uh, soften him up a little. Why were you messing around with spells anyway? I told you, I was trying to get more realistic for my LARPing society. They're, like, super uptight about offenses. All right, what's Cereal's biggest enemy? What makes Cereal just fall apart? Oh, 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 pick me, I know! All right, what's Cereal's biggest enemy? What makes Cereal just fall apart? Oh, 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 pick me, I know! All right, what's Cereal's biggest enemy? What makes Cereal just fall apart? Oh, oh, pick me, I know! All right, what's Cereal's biggest enemy? What makes Cereal just fall apart? Oh, oh, oh.
Not just any dagger, Max. That looks like a ceremonial dagger used to dispel arch fiends from the 12th circle of heck. Well, we'll just have to keep a lookout for one of those, won't we? All right, what's Serial's biggest enemy? What makes Serial just fall apart? Oh, oh, pick me! I know! All right, what's Serial's biggest enemy? What makes Serial just fall apart? Oh, oh, pick me! I know! <laughs> Nothing left but a puddle of sugar, milk, and food coloring. Great work, Cadet. I love it. And love means never having to say you're soggy. Hey, guys. Someone's messing with the cash register. <laughs> I am Todd, Archfiend of the Twelfth Circle. Tower mortals as I. Hey, what's this? What's he doing, Sam? I think he's scanning items, looking for the legendary Mark of the Beast. <laughs> With a little luck, the demon's OCD will keep him occupied while we find some way to get rid of him. He's eating everything he scans. Let's run with that. The Shlorpy froze it for a second, but then it wore off. I think we're missing an ingredient. The Shlorpy is cold enough, but I think we're also gonna need some divine intervention. Basket. That seemed to do it. We bought ourselves some time. Now what? That holy water Slurpee gave Todd the mother superior of all brain freezes. Now we just need to find some sort of weapon to send him back to the 12th circle. You're not wrong, little buddy. We're gonna have to find a more permanent solution for this demonic ice cube. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's throw something heavy at Todd and shatter him into a bazillion pieces.
Gimme, gimme, gimme! I don't know, Max. I feel like there should still be a boss monster or something. Boss monster, schmoss monster. You play too many old school video games. Today's games are all about emergent narratives and open world. Oh. Drax! I am Well, Clamballs, looks like Max has gotten himself possessed. Again. You try to dig up some way to drive out the unclean spirit, while I look up the necessary incantations on the internet. I hate Mondays! I want you to want me! something we can make an angelic circle out of. Time should do it. Nice throw, kid. Maybe we should do something anti-demonic to the hoop. And now, not right. Or to find space now. Go tell Did it, kid. Those blessed hula hoops are dragging Max's possessed body down to Earth. Now we just have to drive him out of Max once and for all. Now where'd that ceremonial knife get to? Punching action, kid. Let me add a few words of cleaving for my online exorcism FAQ. Rizzle, drazzle, drazzle, drone. Time for this one to go home. You will kneel before time, Felix, please. First you and then you. <laughs> Max, 
You okay, little buddy? Did Lumpy just save my immortal soul? Looks like. Fine. Ten points to Hufflepuff. Can we get back to the training now? Nice work, cadet. Would you mind handing me that sacred blade for safekeeping? Sam has an amazing filing system. You crack me. Hey! You can't have that! It doesn't belong to you! Is it just me, or is this day getting weird? By our standards? Yeah, it's about a four. Ready for some more torture, Lumpy? Come on, kid. Uh, can I come out now? So, as I was saying, just topple over this giant cap Mako bear head and walk over to access the last of your Freelance Police Academy challenges. This recurring severed head motif is starting to weird me out, Sam. This is it. The last leg of your journey towards Freelance Policedom. I'm all a quiver. <laughs> Whatever that means. Take a look around to acquaint yourself with the challenges. Then get ready to be tested within an inch of your life. Centimeters, even! I wouldn't touch that if I were you. It's a prototype VR chamber we confiscated from a disgraced country western star back in the 90s. Uh, it's, uh, not good. This is Obstacle Course Omega, the ultimate physical challenge. I call it the No Fun House. We've ramped up the grueling factor to 11. And the implausibility rating to 12. We reverse engineered Tox hoverboard for this one. So make sure to buckle in. That's a metaphor. There are no buckles. When you're ready to be humiliated on every available axis, head on in. Alrighty, kid. You know how these work now. Get through the obstacles as fast as you can. But this time with a flying hoverboard and a scary clown motif. Use your glove hand to steer and pull the trigger to speed up and slow down. Oh, and try not to crash. That was brilliant, Sam. <laughs> Set, go, fly! You've gone through spooky tunnels and love tunnels. But are you ready for a tunnel of fun? It's not as scary as you think it is, Sam.
you through it. Catch the toys and put them on the shelf. Okay, maybe it's not that complicated. valuable dolls or action figures out of there and we can call it a day. <laughs> oh, you almost had it. When I was a kid, I once spent all my damn sports track money on one of these things. The dolls have really captured Max's irrepressible spirit, and maybe his soul. Do these action figures make me look fat? Ha ha ha! 
Cadet, you passed the final obstacle course with flying colors. And swimming sounds. Oh, have we got a surprise for you. Max isn't kidding, champ. Remember that big worm thingy from the thrilling prologue? He's in the Ocarina tank! We're keeping it here to study its origins, and to see how well mysterious monsters bow to your powers of persuasion. Such as they are. You'd be surprised how often a freelance police officer's job involves bonding with brainless animals. I've been doing it for decades! We've been secretly training Jeff. The giant planarian worm from earlier today. To respond to simple sounds, so that he might one day become a useful member of society. Like an emotional support animal, or a minesweeper. When the music starts, your job is to clear away all the props using the associated trick. We'll be judging you on how well you make Jeff jump through hoops, bounce balls, ring bells. You know, all the stuff that makes an animal's life worth living. If he gets grumpy or tired, you can pet him and give him treats. That's what I always do with Sam. On with the show. There, get soothing. Get Jeff to do a water walk. a giant hell beast walk on water like that since Descartelli in the 96 Olympics. Now, while the bells are hanging, tell Jeff to do a high jump. Jeff came from? You mean besides our ancestral genetic nightmares? Don't just stand there. Get soothing. Time for the next round. Jeff 
Jeff sure does love his fish. And cats and squirrels and pigeons and third graders and... Time to somersault Jeff over those bars. It's just like riding a bicycle. A wet, man-eating bicycle. <laughs> Salty. And now, big finish. Hoopy hoo, big guy. Uh oh, looks like Jeff is running out of energy. Get over to the top. Or get him to jump for one. Uh oh. Looks like Jeff is running out of energy. Get over to the docks and feed him some fish. Or get him to jump for one. I was going to call him Jimmy Fratelli too. You know, on account of the eyes. On account of the eyes. And I decided that would be too confusing. Hence, Jeff. That was a spectacular show, kid. I laughed, I cried, I took my medication to even out my mood swings. By now you've undoubtedly noticed those fish buckets floating over your head. And if you haven't, man, are you blind! The buckets are the home of the Freelance Sky Patrol Challenge, which measures your ability to hit targets from a distance. It also might make you uke, but that's just a bonus. Welcome to the Freelance Sky Patrol Challenge, Cadet. As you can see, we filled your sky bucket with hundreds of balloons filled with dyed water. As your bucket gently floats over the confines of the Freelance Police Academy, you'll see that we've placed targets of varying difficulty all over the place. Your task is to... Right death from above! Well, pretty much. You'll get points for every hit, multipliers for streaks. You know, the usual rigmarole. On my eyes, Luffy! Can you get three? Three, you kid. Make it stop, Sam! Two in a row! Big deal.
One leg down, two to zone. This is where we fought off those controlled lunches! Nice streak, cadet. Say hello to my little scrappers! I haven't seen such poorly placed balloons since that burlesque show for the blind. Maybe today! Is it me, or is Luffy really bad at this? It's not just you. You're going up a streak here, kid. Down. I can't stop him when he's like this. Where you, kid? You might want to knock that down. I can't stop him when he's like this. I haven't seen such poorly placed balloons since that burlesque show for the blind. You think it did? Turn towards home. I should warn you that the challenge is going to get much more difficult. Shut it up. Ah, you lost it. Wait. Make it stop, Sam. You might want to knock that down. I can't stop him when he's like this. Maybe we should make the targets bigger. Or the balloons. Cadet, you passed the Freelance Sky Patrol Challenge. You might want to get that rash checked out, though. We're not really sure what those balloons were filled with. Sweet suffering salamanders, Cadet. You passed the final challenge. Are you sure? I want to see if Lumpy can pass my Dodge Medical Waste Blindfolded Test. Give it a rest, Max. It's time to get this kid graduated and out on patrol. Webster's third edition defines the word funicular as worked by a rope or the like. That doesn't have anything to do with today's graduation ceremony. I just thought I'd mention it. Get on with it! I see our time is just about up, so I'll cut to the chase. Lumpy, by the powers vested in me by the great state of... Sam! Oh, 
truly tap dancing tardigrades. It's Captain Aqua Bear. Tis I, Captain Aqua Bear, in the impervious flesh. Get him, me hearty! What the? Hey! I don't know why you're real, or why you're not microscopically small, or how you learn to speak like a pirate, but I really don't know how to finish this sentence. Hey! I think this giant aqua bear is the same guy that stole Tox's neutron whisker back in Act One. Good eye, Max. And I'll bet these oversized tardigoofs are the ones who've been sabotaging our academy, too. Of course we've been sabotaging your academy, you bill-sucking sons of a mistake there. I can't have no stupid scraping free like police poking around me plundering plans. Can you translate into something less eccentric? The new kid hasn't been put through our advanced criminal dialects course yet. I'll do you one better, you scurvy dog. I'll take you with me! Hey, I don't have scurvy. Prepare to be boarded, big ends! Sam? Sam? Where'd you go, Sam? I have a sudden feeling of overwhelming loss and a lack of someone to rebut my jokes. Don't just stand there, Lumpy! We gotta find Sam! He owes me five bucks. Hey, your bracelet too, Hickey. It's picking up a signal. He's alive! The signal's weaker than Sam's pickup lines. We need something like a dowsing rod to find Sam's unique scent. A Sam detector. I got it. Bumpy, pick me up. Now, hold my sniffer over these puddles to find Sam. Hold it. Stay away from this ride, Lumpy. This is the old Meet the Aqua Bears attraction, which debuted in the mid 80s. It used patented neutrino ray technology to temporarily shrink guests down to a microscopic size so that they could encounter aqua bears up close in their natural environments. At least it was supposed to be temporary. The ride was closed down after a number of guests didn't come back in 1987. Some say their teeny tiny ghosts still haunt the park to this day. Bears ride actually shrunk people, did you? Max? New kid? Are you there? It's Sam! Over your watch! Sam, where are you? Do you need pie? Is anyone there? Come in. 
We've got to get closer. I'll drive towards that bright light on the horizon. Either Sam's there, or it's the afterlife, and I'm good with either one. There's too many of them! Take my spare gun and shoot down these teeny tinies! Ah, crud! Microscopic crud! And it's banging up our hoopty! The nanoscopic world is grotier than I imagined. Can you still hear me? Captain Aquabear's got me tied up to a pirate ship. There's a disco, and my pants are riding up on me. Whoa, you won't believe what this Captain Aquabear loser just told me. Turns out that moon rock we donated to the theme park all those years ago was throbbing with all sorts of exotic radiation. When it was placed next to the Meet the Aquabears attraction, all that radiation mutated all the Aquabears in that giant aquabarium, giving them big brains and even bigger Napoleon complexes. Ever since the park closed, they've been scavenging the park's equipment, using it to build an enlarging portal. Until now, they've only been able to make it work for a few minutes at a time, which explains those weird trench coat guys we've seen lately. Now they've almost got it right, and they're about to unleash an army of unkillable giant aqua bears on the city. Hurry! Breathing! That was fun! Let's never do it again! Well, here we are, at a nightclub, in the Nanoverse. Yeah, that tracks. Max, you need to get in here. Billions of giant aqua bears from the Nanoverse are about to invade the Earth, and I've got a foot cramp. Keep your pants on, Sam. I've got this. Lumpy, we need a way into this anomalous discotheque. If only there were some way we could blend in. Hmm. One. We can use it as a costume, sneak our way into Captain Aqua Bear's party, and blow up whatever he's up to. Just give me the Aqua Bear skin, and let me get up on your shoulders. Oh, smelly! Head over to that bouncer there, and let me do all the talking. Eh, just cut to the front of the line. These Aqua Bears are clueless. Hey, Pally, let's get this party started. Anybody can dance, eh? Uh, what the who now? Hit it, Jack King Loser. I think we missed something. Aqua Bears communicate by mimicking, Max. Watch what they do and duplicate it. Look, my nematode, only pirates. Listen, Mac. Not our problem. Look, 
my nematode? Only pirates! Listen, Mac. Not. Our. Problem. Aqua bears can't just go enough. Papa good dogs, Echo. Look, my nematode, only pirates. Listen, Mac. Not our problem. Right this way, friendo. Over 30 years to say that, haven't you? Maybe, but that's not important. Captain Aqua Bear's almost finished building his portal. Ah! And that would be bad because. Because it'll permanently enlarge the captain and all his angry Aqua Bear friends. Yeah, but how many of those can there be? <laughs> 10, 20? Try 8 billion. That is more than 20. You and the kid need to find a way to temporarily knock out all these Aqua Bears and blow up the portal. What about rescuing you? Lumpy's hopeless with straight lines. If it's not too much trouble. Okay, Lumpy, let's mingle. <laughs> Ooh, that looks tasty. Hold it up to my gaping maw. Ever since that dark and glorious Green. day, yeah, when that blessed yeah, moon yeah, rock cursed us with the unwanted beauty of intelligence, we Aquabars have been adrift in the lonely seas of the Nanoverse. Scraping away in a pitiful, pointless existence. <laughs> Meanwhile, up in the world of the Piggins, those poxy humans have been living high off the hall with their cell Who's phones the? Give me and two. their hot Love dogs water. and their grande frappuccinos. <laughs> but today, we will cast off the shackles of teeny tininess and set sail for a new and giant world where the Aqua Bears will reign supreme! <laughs> How are we doing with that infernal portal contraption, Boats and Kevin? Any minute now, Captain. All righty then! Everybody, um, enjoy the party and get ready for our voyage. Uh, yar and so forth. I've got a planet to take over. Arr. Hey, you look smarter than the average aqua bear. <laughs> what you doing? Haven't you been paying attention? I'm putting the finishing touches on the permanent enlarging portal. What if I lend you a claw? Or five? Please don't. This machine is the culmination of everything I've worked for since that accursed moon rock blessed me with intelligence. Sounds like you need a hobby. Or a hug. Or maybe a hamdinger. What I need is silence. Don't 
What's that? That uncle bear's not going anywhere. You'll have to get rid of him somehow. I said don't touch that. That uncle bear's not going anywhere. You'll have to get rid of him somehow. I said don't touch that. That uncle bear's not going anywhere. You'll have to get rid of him somehow. Is that Max's distinctive funk I smell? <laughs> Max, is that you? How can I still smell you when you're smaller than anything that smells? was a lot less foamy than I expected. You have to insert one of these soap bottles in first, my man. Nice rig! I know, right? Where'd you get all this cool gear? I had to make like 2,000 trips to the world of biggins to get all this stuff. Can I sit in for a session? When I was a kid, they called me DJ Scratch and Sniff. No way, man. This is my jam. Feel free to mess around with the foam sprayer, though. what you're doing, Luppy. Fingers crossed. Whatever you're trying to do, it's not working. I'm not sure what you're trying to do, but I love putting things in other things. Bulb in the hole! I hope you know what you're doing, Luppy. Fingers crossed. Whatever you're trying to do, it's not working. We need to alter the ingredients of these foam containers somehow. I'm not sure what you're trying to do, but I love... You know what you're doing, Luppy. Fingers crossed. Whatever you're trying to do, it's not working. We need to alter the ingredients of these foam containers somehow. Say, I wonder what these floating globbies are. I'm not sure what you're trying to do, but I love putting things in other things. Don't bug me while I'm mixing, man. Hey! Don't bug me while I'm mixing, man. Hmm, that was a lot less foamy than I expected. You have to insert one of these soap bottles in first, my man. I'm not sure what you're trying to do, but...
muscle grease. Mmm, a drop of Dr. Dill's soda. Hey, Max, weren't you drinking Dr. Dill's that day you accidentally hibernated our pet aqua bears back in 2009? What a curious detail to remember. No thanks. I've had my fill of weasel grease today. Get that poison away from me, Satan! Idea, Lumpy. Maybe the arugula will make. I'm not sure what you're trying to do, but. I... Hey, don't bug me while I'm mixing, man. what you're trying to do, but I love putting things in other things. I'm not sure what you're trying to do, but I love putting things in other things. I think that foam container's already got plenty of water, but hey. <laughs> I've had my fill of weasel grease today. Woo, yum, scrumpos! You know, I seem to remember you eating a bag of scrumpos when our pet aqua bears mysteriously went into hibernation back in odd nine. You know, you pay way too much attention to my diet, Sam. shouldn't. Too much Dr. Dills makes me, um, do things. I really shouldn't. Too much Dr. Dills makes me, um, do things. Dr. Dill's in the foam? <laughs> Freaky! Scrumpos in dance foam? Weird. Rumpo 
was in dance foam? Putting Dr. Dills in the foam? Hey, don't bug me while I... Combination of scrumbos and Dr. Dills you've snuck into the Aqua Bear's dance foam is interacting with their metabolisms in some way. Psychedelic! They're still not hibernating, Sam! We need to trigger their metabolic reaction with an energy wave. Maybe a specific sonic burst of some sort. Now you're just making things up. shouldn't. Too much Dr. Dills makes me, um, do things. I really shouldn't. Too much Dr. Dills makes me, um, do things. Thanks, but I'll pass. Too many scrumpos make me sleepy. I really shouldn't. Too much Dr. Dills makes me, um, do things. That Uncle Bear's not going anywhere. You'll have to get rid of him somehow. Hey, pal, can you put this into the mix? That old thing? Are you serious? The crew ain't gonna like this. It was playing when me and my girlfriend met. Or maybe it was my boyfriend. It's so hard to tell with us, am I right? It was playing when all of us met, and then kept playing for 20 years. Come on. Ugh, fine. Hey, what is happening? I can our party for you can with a The sonic waves from the Meet the Aqua Bear song catalyze the chemicals in the Dr. Dills and Scrimpos mixture, replicating the patented Aqua Bear hibernation formula. And here I thought we were just trying random stuff out until something cool happened. Six a tomato, half a dozen a tomato. Now get me out of these bonds and let's blow up this portal. I'll get the car! <laughs> Ah, there. That sounds like the robot head of Duncan Dills, creator of the Aqua Bears. This gives me an idea, but you'll have to get me out of these chains first. Good to see you face to face again, kid. Now how about undoing these clamps so we can blow this thing up and go home? Captain Aqua Bear must be using its mini fusion reactor to power his enlarging portal. Lucky for us, it's also a bomb. Let me just pull out my manual and let's see if we can get this thing to explode before the Aqua Bears wake up. Now just pick up Dill's head so we can arm it. 
He looks to the right when he's telling the truth. Boop me. Squeeze me. Boop me. Squeeze me. Boop me. Boop me. Boop me. His eyes will turn red when he's telling the truth. Lunge me. Poke me. Lunge me. Poke me. Lunge me. Poke me. Lunge me. Poke me. Poke me. Lunge me. Lunge me. Poke me. Lunge me. Poke me. Poke me. Lunge me. Poke me. When his eyes are yellow, he's an honest fellow. When he's looking to his left, he's telling the truth. Poke me. Yank me. Lunge me. Squeeze me. Poke me. Yank me. Poke me. Smack me. Poke me. Yank me. Me. That's it. The bomb will go off in... What's that say? The bomb will go off in 30 seconds. Yikes! Now put Dills back in the portal. Thank you, Freelance Police, for putting an end to the abomination I created. Um, you're welcome? I foolishly played God with the microscopic world and put everything I loved at risk. Hey, it happens. Tell my story. Not a chance. Get out of the way! I don't know how to try! Oh, hi. Sam! Who are you talking to? Max! Took you long enough. Let's go, kid. When I was a child, I always knew I was destined for big things. Get off this the scuttling me, Black! That's the easy to be happy. Make my big dreams come true before I die. Oh, go, go, go! I had my brain recorded and placed into my phantasmatronic doppelganger in the room. Hang on, everybody! I can smell infinity, Sam! Ah, get back here! Rapid! No! Um, Sam? The DeSoto must be suffused with residual nanoverse energy. Amazing! Now you're just making stuff up! Hey, I found a penny. Well, here we are, back in the world of the vertically privileged. Why didn't we come out in the theme park, Sam? Fuel's exploding head must have jostled the space-time continuum while we were growing to our more or less regular size. Is that why I keep growing and shrinking? Uh, sure, let's go with that. Ah, uh, dang. Oh! Sweet suffering spell and zany on sourdough. Har, har. I could really use some context right now, Sam. I'm no expert, but it looks like the captain somehow supersized himself. Don't make me hungry, Sam. Also, he seems to have gained some sort of dramatically convenient telekinetic powers and is using them to rebuild the portal to the nanoverse. That jerk! How many times do we have to keep blowing that thing up? 
<gasps> Bullets aren't working, Sam! Aqua bears are nigh invulnerable and immortal, Max. The best we can hope for is to trigger his hibernation cycle. Which means we need a pant load of dills, scrumpos, and another recording of the Meet the Aqua Bears song. Stat! We've got the song on our record player in the office. I'll go get it while you and Max smother the cabin in scrumpos and Dr. Dills. Food Hole tossed out their recalled scrumpos into those dumpsters behind Captain Obnoxious. A, it's disturbing that you know that. B, see if you and the new kid can use that crane to scoop up the scrumpos and cover the cabin in fabulous orange powder. Ready? Break! I've always wanted to say that. So sue me. All right, we gotta get past the captain to the crane. Follow me! You climb the crane, Luffy, and I'll prepare the scrumbo!
Copy! You're almost there! Well, I'm sure he's fine. Listen, kid, we gotta end this now before Captain Jerk rebuilds the portal and unleashes skaty eight billion giant and vulnerable aqua bears on our beleaguered metropolis. He's already covered in scrumpos and Dr. Dills. Now we just have to figure out some way to amplify our old school hi-fi. This is a weekly test of the killer robot alert system. There are no killer robots in your vicinity. This is only a test. That's it, the early warning alert system. All we have to do is plug the record player into its ginormous speakers. Here, use Talk's hoverboard. Fly the record player up to the speakers and blast Cap Maqua Bear into a sonic slumber. Crud, this thing is out of juice. If only there were some heroic and foolhardy way to charge it up quickly. No, a downed wire maybe? A thing they tell you never to touch in school. I'm not sure if that was really brave or really dumb. Let's just split the difference and call it Bradon. Now fly the record player up to the speaker and unleash the raw fury of that cheesy, lovable song on the cap. Kids, get down here! 
Looks like that EMP blast took out the hoverboard. We're gonna have to do this on foot now, kid. Oh, fuck nothing. He finished the portal. Let's blow this thing up before we're up to our armpits and aqua bears. Force field? That hardly seems cricket. Yo! Oh, oh. He's waking up! We're Ausgespielt! Ausgespielt? I don't know the meaning of the word! Ooh. Max, you're a giant! Again! You hop onto Max's ginormous paw while I prep for the inevitable death blow. I'd go with you, but I hate heights. And sweaty pumps. Going up? It's just like riding a bike, Sam! Nice job plugging the portal with Captain Brunch, but I don't think that's a permanent solution. No kidding! He's already crowning! Here, kid, take Max's gun and see if you can do anything about the force field. I'm gonna look for some more weapons. That cheesy force field is being generated by those cheesy glowing orbs, just like in a cheesy video game. See if you can take them out. Colossal pirate cosplay aqua bears, transdimensional portals, force fields, and ladies unmentionables. Ah! Another puzzle! Why can't I just go back to shooting things? Whoever designed this game, uh, must have been nostalgic for our earlier lessons. Let me get it! The clock's opening! It... There's another puzzle! Ah! Congrats, Max. Any other hints up there? The captain's too dumb to remember a code. It has to be written down somewhere. Yes, every genuine doctor tells Brad. A safe opening, Sam! And look! It's another puzzle! Go to your happy place, Max. What are we looking at? My medicine ball sized eyes can't make heads or tails of it, Sam. Maybe Lumpy can figure it out. You think? We've been hearing them all day long! Try playing them in the order of the Meet the Aqua Bear song. Aqua. Aqua. Meet. The. Bears. Meet. The. Meet. The. Aqua Bears. Meet the Aqua Bears. Whoa! It's spinning! You better get down from there before you get yourself killed! Welcome back to normalish size, little buddy. Oh, I feel so puny. I've got just the remedy for that. Shooting wildly at those rotating holes in the portal. I feel seen, Sam. Now, let's blow this thing up, kid. Not so fast, Smiggins. Ah, oh, what a grind. Keep shooting. Har, har, har.
did it. But we were there. Where's the kaboom, Sam? Shouldn't the portal be kabooming right now? <laughs> Incredible! Captain Marco Bear is holding back the explosion with his as yet unexplained telekinetic powers. Ah, oh, for the love of it. You want a job done right? That grenade won't do anything, Max. He's impervious. From the outside, maybe. Give me some traveling music to distract him, Sam. I've got just the two. Okay, Luffy. The whole world's resting on your weenie arm's ability to throw me into the gaping maw of that big doofus over there. I know it looks impossible, but hey, I believe in you. Mostly, just pick me up, try not to tickle me, and give it your best shot. We got the beat! What the praise is! Congratulations, Cadet! You are now an official member of the Freelance Police, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities accorded therein. Ask Helios about the free pierogies! Sorry about the smears on the diploma. You have no idea how hard it is to get dills and scrumpos out of mimeograph paper. Sam, what about the other thing? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Max wanted to give you this horrifying memento of your first case. You did good, rookie! Don't you mean lumpy? Don't insult your fellow officer, Sam! Wanna say a few words, kid? A commissioner! Hold that thought, lumpy! You crack me up, little buddy. <laughs> Is this what they mean by suspended animation? My rictus-like grin is starting to hurt, Sam. Who are all these people? Ow, 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 leg cramp. This gag was a lot funnier in the read-through. I had no idea there were so many talented people involved in modern video game production. Whatever you do, don't think about scratching your nose. Ah, oh, why would you say that? That's not even a real job. Just a few more 